Hi, I'm Rob Cousin. Welcome to my shop. I was recently teaching a class, uh, Woodworking Fundamentals, and when it came time to dimension the lumber, uh, I realized I don't think I've ever done this on a YouTube video. So what I'm going to do is walk you through the process of using a scrub plane, but first we're going to actually grind a primary bevel on it, and we're going to sharpen it, and then I'll show you how, it, how I think it's very effective when it comes to uh, moving a lot of stock quickly. So... <laughs> I'm Rob Cosman and welcome to my shop. We make it our job to help you take your woodworking to the next level. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and don't forget to turn on the notification on your mobile device so you'll know every time we release a new video. Good? All right, back to the bench. It's a piece of northern white pine, and you wanted to get three quarters of an inch. Let's say you wanted to get an inch out of it. Well, your most stable and your best bet is to take an inch right out of the middle. So what we would be looking at would be this. That center section. Now there's no guarantees obviously, but if you took all the material, if you took a half an inch off one side or the other, you're almost guaranteed to be some, get something that's not going to be stable. So we gotta move a lot of stock. Now doing that with a regular bench plane would take an awful lot of strokes. So instead I'm gonna bring my trusty scrub plane into work. And this was made by Woodcraft. It was their pinnacle brand. They no longer have it. There's the blade. It's fairly heavy. I think it's 3 16 of an inch thick. And it has, uh, it's beveled down. So we're going to re-grind the primary bevel. So I'll take you over here to the grinder. What we want to do is set the uh, tool rest to essentially match what was already on there. This is, looks to be about a 30 degree bevel, but if I had my choice and I had the time, I would probably grind that back down to 25 degrees. Then when you're doing your secondary bevel, you're not so likely to get up above 45 degrees, which would then make it so that you couldn't function in the plane. So I'm matching the bevel. Now it's got a radius on the end. So what all you're gonna do is you wanna keep the uh, radius tangent to the wheel. So I'm gonna pivot from back here somewhere. There's no reason to take all of it off. All right, now we'll come over here to our 1,000 grit stone. I spritzed it. I used hone right just because it uh, inhibits rust. So with a nice big wide primary bevel like that, it's real easy to find. So locate it. And what we want to do is we're just going to do little circles, but we're going to start in this corner and we're going to roll around. So while I'm doing these little circles, I'm going to go like this and roll around, get to this side, and then come back feel for a burr. Once I get a burr, I'm done. So starting on this right hand corner, find the primary bevel, come up just a little bit and start little circles. And then as I'm doing this, and you can walk around various areas of the stone so that you're not putting a lot of use in one spot. Okay, now I'm back over to this corner and then I'm going to come back. Feel for a burr. Okay, I've got a burr all the way. So now all I'm going to do is lay this over. I don't use the ruler trick on this. You can't. You'd end up with a little flat spot right there. Is not, I always like to set the back down first up here then drop it down and then just a couple of strokes to remove any burr. Like I said, this is, think of this more of an axe than a hand plane. It's used to go in and just rapidly remove stock. Now, I'll make sure that this is held firmly in place. This tends to be fairly aggressive. I've got my I've got my guide over here. I'm not going to do the whole thing, but I'll just give you a quick rundown on how you do it. Take the lever cap off. Put the blade in place. Now I like to hold it like this with my fingers. There's no um, advance and retract mechanism on this. Simply slip the lever cap in and snug that up. Now I'm going to sight that down the sole. I can't see the blade yet. So I like to do it like this. When I re release the pressure of the lever cap, I can just slide it with my index finger and thumb. It gives me a little bit of control. Now that's not enough. Bring it a little bit further. Okay, now I'm going to show you that. See where the blade is? 
try to keep it centered. There's a, there's a lot of room. The blade is not nearly as wide as the opening. There's a big open throat so you can get shavings out. Hey, now, if you this like this great. video, we have more. Our newsletter has subscriber-only content, monthly discount on tools, and anything we bring out that's new, subscribers get first crack at it. Click on the link below. Let's get back to work. Now, if this is straight grain, you can simply push forward like this. If it was tearing, then I would go. I can go on a diagonal. Now, I'm going to bring that blade out a little more because I. It's fairly easy planing, and I want to show you how fast we can move stock. You can also pull this. Sometimes it's a little easier on the shoulder. I think we can take even more. All right, now let me show you where that blade is. You see that? Okay, now I'm going to get behind that. Now, if I had to go in on a diagonal, I'm going to retract that a little bit. get down here and eyeball it and just do the best I can to get it close. Actually I'm already down to the line so if I don't have any more to remove. Retract the blade a little bit and then go in and refine this. Just post as flat as I can before coming in with either my jack or my joiner. relatively close. Now I go in with my jointer actually is what I would use. Fairly heavy cut. Get rid of all the imperfections caused by the scrub plane. But you can move a lot of stock a heck of a lot easier and quicker with a scrub plane than you can with your jointer or jack. That's it. Not expensive. Great tool. Good exercise too. See ya. If you enjoy my method of work and like my style of teaching, click on any one of these videos to help take your woodworking to the next level. I've always said better tools make the job so much easier. If you click on the plane and chisel icon below, it'll take you to our site and introduce you to all the tools that we actually manufacture right here in our shop. It'll also give you information on our in-person and online workshops.